You all have my gratitude for aiding that village in its time of need. No need to thank us. I mean, we offered. Exactly. Yeah, never mind us, Max. Don't you have some icy general lady to go report to? I mean, she's all you talked about on the road. Hmm? Uh, yes? Of course. Ah, uh, to see even a hint of a smile grace that icy face would be a reward more valuable than any treasure. Seriously? I assumed you, of all people, would understand this, Noah. But if not, I assure you the day will soon come when you do. For love is what changes mere boys into men. If you say so. <sighs> Someone's coming. Marissa, Alwi, Noah. What's wrong, Nell? Your non is in danger. What? Baby, baby. Okay, what's going on? We have just received a report of strange tidings in the Great Wood outside Yarnan. An Imperial invasion? No army has been sighted as yet, but forest creatures are said to be fleeing the woods in droves. Strange tidings indeed. Think maybe it's related to that King of the Revenants guy? Oh, but this is madness. Not only is the Kinani army nowhere to be seen, but the Eucrisian army, which departed before them, has yet to arrive. What are we going to do? I will dispatch troops to investigate the situation at once. Thank you. We'll go back there right away. Sounds like we're in a race against time. Again! Maxim, I'm putting you in command of this. Lead your troops to Yarnan and work in tandem with the brave warriors of the Guardians. Yes, General. No. No! I won't allow it! Absolutely not! Your Majesty. Out of the question. Why? For all we know, this is some kind of imperial diversion. With our League of Nations allies yet to arrive, I'll not spare a single soldier from the defense of Athrobalt. That is an order, General. Wait, but... With respect, Your Majesty, the Guardians are a crucial ally. We owe it to them and ourselves to... Since when is it your place to decide what's best for this kingdom? You think to supersede my decision? What utter gall! I've half a mind to relieve you of command! <sighs> Forgive me, Your Majesty. I spoke hastily. Blast it all! Where are those reinforcements? Now, don't they realize the League of Nations is in peril? Okay, now what? General Electra, I must object. <sighs> the King has spoken. And we will honor it. I apologize, noble guardian warriors. 
But we can send you no aid. <sighs> Let's get out of here, Noah. Right behind you. General, we're going to Yarnon. When Periel arrives, could you please explain the situation to her? Of course. I hope everyone in the village is all right. Baby Poo. They are. I won't let anyone lay a finger on my village. General Electra, I... Oh. I will not defy a royal order, Maxim. My hands are tied. Also, I'm not even sure King Salas is wrong. This easily could be a diversion. They say it was a surprise attack from Aldric's Legion that sealed Eltisvice's fate. If Norrister should fall before our allies can assemble in her defense, the League of Nations will collapse and a great many will suffer. I do not want that. I and the army exist for the people. I cannot undermine discipline by disobeying an order. I must stay bound by my guiding principles. I understand, General. Thank you for what you did for Scris, and for the intel about the army beyond the peak. While I cannot mobilize our troops, I've not revoked your command. Make sure your company is ready to move the moment I give the order. <gasps> of course, General. What the heck does strange tidings mean anyway? It means we better hurry back and see for ourselves. I just hope there is still time. We'll make it. We have to. Now let's move. R right. Everything looks pretty normal to me. I think we made it back in time. Let's go see the Grand Warden.
Wave. <gasps> Marissa, Noah, you're back. We heard strange things were afoot out here. Did you figure out what's going on? No, but the signs are looking worse all the time. In fact, a bunch of patrols I sent out haven't returned. One was a team of hardened vets, too. Taking them down would be no easy feat. What could possibly be doing all this? It's gotta be that Skeleton King guy, right? Him and his army of revenants or whatever? Ah! That... noise! Nil? What's wrong? What was that? The concealment magic will not hold much longer. They will soon learn what is happening. But it is no matter, for we have the numbers we need. Ah! My soulless liches will overrun this place and steal nourishment from the living. The lens demands payment in blood. To sate it is my duty and my eternal wish. And sated you shall, as agreed. What's going on? It feels like lens magic. But the power is vast. Also, something about it feels terribly... wrong. An enemy attack, maybe? Okay. What the hell are those things? Are they revenants? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I sense the power of a rune lens, and not just any lens. This one seems to be calling to the revenants, sustaining them somehow. Please tell me that entire army isn't coming for us. No! Please, no! What do we do? Run! Run! Wrong! Running is the one thing we won't do! This village is special to me! I live here! I grew up here! And there's no way I'm gonna let a bunch of damn corpses defile my home! Marissa... She's right! We can't let them take Yarnan! They'll pay the price for underestimating us! We'll fight to our last breath! Enough! All of you! Think for a second. There's no way we can fend off a horde like that with our numbers. So what are you saying? Just hand the village over to them? If we don't, they'll kill us and take it anyway. Fine! Then they kill us! I'd rather die than watch a bunch of undead freaks sully my home! Don't do this! You'd be throwing your lives away! This is my home we're talking about, Noah! 
I know. And no home is worth dying for. The Empire overran my town and burned my home to the ground. But we ran, which is why Aunt Martha and the other villagers are still alive today. We didn't lose the one thing that matters. Each other. But this town matters to me, damn it! Enough, Marissa. It's not like you to lose your cool like this. But I have to do something! I respect how much you love this place. I do. But let's get our priorities straight. You and everyone else come first, then this place. You're family to me, Marissa. All the Guardians are. If we lose our town, our homes, fine. We rebuild, but there's no rebuilding if you die. The world needs Guardians too much for us to throw our lives away. And yeah, maybe there comes a time where we have to do that. But this ain't it. I agree, Marissa. You are very important to me. So please, for my sake, don't say something so sad. Poopy! <sighs> all right. I get it. Then we're all on the same page. We Guardians need to get everyone out of here. So long as we're alive, we can keep fulfilling our duty, no matter where we end up. With your blessing, Grand Warden? Yes, but first we must stall for time so the children and others can escape. Now that's something worth risking our lives for. Guardians, secure the entrance to the village! It sounds like we have work to do, Marissa. <sighs> we can't let a single revenant through until the evacuation is complete. Move out! <sighs> Will you fight at our side, Noah? Do you even need to ask? Then let's go. Over here! They'll be on us before you know it! It's a relief to know you're fighting on our side, Noah. Uh, hello? I'm also here fighting at your side. But you always are. Enemy sighted! Marissa! Noah! You take that side! On it!
deploying. ourselves a moment's rest at least. Nope. Scratch that. More incoming. Let him come. Threat level low. Tactical lens deployment. Thank you. Fall back! We'll intercept them inside the village! Marissa! Noah! Nell! Don't fall behind! You either, Alwi! I've been promoted to afterthought. Joy. until everyone has escaped. Agreed. They're here. You're mine.
destroying. There! We got him! That wasn't so hard. This feeling must be what you call fed up. Pretty much. Hmm. I believe I have deepened my understanding of your emotional states. So how fed up are you? I am... extremely fed up. Is now really the time for this conversation? Not Tactical sure you even need me for this one. Thank you. Walk in the park. All right, let's fall back a little more. Remember, we're just playing for time here. Okay, let's try to buy him a little time from this position. I have many wonderful memories here. And now look at it. Marissa. This is my house. My home. Kobe! It's true that we have to leave here for now. 
will come back one day and reclaim it all. You're right. We will. We must. Then let's go win this thing. Time to fight! Target. Getting better at this. All right, who's next? Keep them coming. <sighs> Guardians, just speaking the name vexes me. Time has robbed them of much of their former strength. Come, my liches! Bring this land under my dominion! Is he the one behind this? I'm gonna take him down. Easy, Marissa. No throwing our lives away, remember? Keep a level head, analyze the situation, and take the optimal course of action. That's the Guardian way. I have your back, Marissa. So please, do not put yourself in any needless danger. You've got no one me to. Remember that. This shouldn't be hard.
I got a little prison for you. Time to withdraw everybody, and I mean everybody. All right. This is not goodbye, Marissa. We'll return to this village one day. It is my home too, after all. We finally made it. Everyone who left the village ahead of us should already be here. Noah! Uh, Marissa! Maxon? I heard your village was overrun, and I'm grievously sorry I was not there to help. All the evacuees have been taken to the castle. Thank you. I do not deserve your gratitude. You helped me save my people, yet I was unable to aid yours. It's not your fault, Maxim. What's the situation here? Countess Periel has arrived, along with the Eucharistian army. She has asked you and Marissa to join her at the castle for a summit. Got it. Thanks. Alas, yet again my search ends in vain. Oh, where must I venture to partake of the flavor once more? Um, is everything all right? Oh my, forgive me. You caught me musing aloud. Are you a traveler? 
good day to you. I am but a humble fox sitting becalmed in the lee of memory. Well, I'm Noah. Is there anything I can do to help? How kind of you to ask. This must be the whims of fate, as I do indeed find myself in dire need of assistance. It just so happens that I'm in the midst of a personal journey, wherein I endeavor to awaken my potential as a bride through culinary competence. Whoa, you're getting married? Congratulations. But should you really be traveling alone? It's all kinds of dangerous out there. Oh, gosh, no. I have yet to find my one true soulmate. And as for the danger, you need not worry. My spear and I can fend for ourselves. She seems strong. We need not worry about her. However, I am embarrassed to say that my prowess in battle has come at the cost of most other talents. My dear mother has endeavored to teach me what she can, lest I become a spinster, yet my skill in the kitchen has still been found wanting. Slicing with a knife felt all too cumbersome, so I turned to my spear, and lo, the cutting board was sundered in twain. Rather than simmer gently, clearly inefficient dawdling, I stoked the fires to glorious peaks of flame, yielding naught but charcoal. My miso soup, a truly fundamental dish, salty mush. My sweets, indescribable lumps of every hue aside the expected one. Found wanting sounds like an understatement. After pushing my mother to wit's end, she showed me the door with an oath and bade me learn the basics of cooking before returning home. And such is how this fox was cast into the wild. So basically, you want to learn how to cook? Oh no! At present, I'm quite incapable. But the item I seek will, I hope, unlock my mind and enable me to understand my problem with more clarity. What are you looking for? I cannot quite recall. It's something I ate when I was little. I think if I had another taste of it, it would spark something. But alas, for all the lands I have visited, I have yet to remember its name, let alone its support. Here is what I can tell you. It contained a variety of vegetables, and such was its flavor that even one bite lifted the spirits, and it had notes of fish, despite not containing any. You wouldn't happen to know what it is? I don't know much about cooking myself. Oh, but I bet Kurtz could help. I'll see if I can figure it out. Thank you. I will tarry here and ponder my future. I'm a teleportation professional.
Kurtz, mind if I call on your expertise? What's the matter, Noah? I'm looking for a certain dish. It's got lots of veggies in it, and its flavor cheers you up. And, oh yeah, and it's sort of fishy, even though it doesn't have any fish in it. Ring any bells? Huh, will you be having that right now then? Oh, it's not for me. It's for this person I met who ate it when she was little, and now she can't remember, and so she can't get married. You'll bend over backwards for just about anyone, won't you? But you came to the right man. So you know what it is? No! And since not knowing drives me up the wall, I'm gonna find out. The wait is over. The recipe you seek is a bygone culinary favorite called vegetable milk soup. And that's not to say people don't make it anymore. They do, and it's quite popular. But the ingredients, preparation style, even the name has changed over time. Yo, stay put. I'll prepare a bowl for you right now. I give you vegetable milk soup. What your friend craves is a taste of her childhood. Whether I've captured that or not has yet to be seen, but I tried my best. Go on then, don't keep her waiting. Thanks, Kurtz. never failed at this. Not once. Here we go. Huh. And we're here. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, what is it? May I have that? Hmm. I don't believe it. Noah, I know how rude it is to ask, but might I try some of this? Oh, well, sure. Thank you. This is the recipe. I am certain of it. The soup is neither too sweet nor too salty, and the aroma carries up the nose and laps at the mind with visions of seafood. I could cry. It's bringing back so many memories. Noah, what is this called? It's called vegetable milk soup. That's it? That's the whole name? <laughs> I am so sorry. I shouldn't laugh. You won't hurt my feelings. I didn't make it. One of my comrades did. I think I might have convinced him it was for the greater good or something. He's very passionate and sincere when it comes to cooking. 
he knows how much it means to people. Personally, I'm just really happy you like it. Passion and sincerity. Is that what it is? Noah, the scales have fallen from my eyes. Huh? Thank you. At long last, I am beginning to think there is hope for me. Oh, and... <clears throat> Henceforth, you may call me Foxiel, bride in the making. And now I must repay you for the nourishment of body and mind. I will make my spear dance for you, and also try not to destroy your kitchen. I have literally never failed at this. Not once. Here we go! All right, one perfect teleportation coming up. Is this the right... Uh, I mean, this is the right place. Yes.
literally never failed at this. Not once. Here we go. Hmm. Perfect. As usual. In a building mood, are we? This place is coming together. Please come by any time. Hey there. Need some? Until next time. I have things to do, you know. And then?
All right. One perfect teleportation coming up. You go. There you are. I knew I would find you. Uh, Aoi, uh, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. Along came our training day, and my teacher never showed up. Right, about that. Would you just hear me out? Today, Yugo, you will see firsthand just how far my archery has come. Oh, here we go. Why do you have to throw reason to the wind when you get upset? Um, for any years? More like she's always been around. I'll explain later. Right now, I need your help. She'll calm down if we beat her in a fight. I'll take all of you on. Ready if you are. Then it begins. Challenge accepted. How about this? Sullying my blade. Ah, no. Ah, I expected more. You're still letting emotion get the best of you. Those big, wasteful movements. But I, I worked so hard. You left me all by myself. I thought if I kept training... Oh, no. We didn't mean to... Ah, let her get it out of her system. I've known her since she was a tyke, and this is how it always ends. Her father and I are old sparring buddies. The way she bawled the first time she watched us fight. Fierce as a tiger one moment, weepy as a willow the next. <laughs> oh, so that's why. Hmm? I noticed you act differently around her. I could sort of tell she's someone you're close to. What do you expect? Of course I'm going to be sad. I lost. It's not the same as when I was little. Well, anyway, we've been through a lot, are we? But you have gotten stronger. What do you say, Noah? She's proven herself a capable fighter. Can she join us? Of course. There. <laughs> you hear that? What do you say we celebrate? Anything you want. My treat. Dorayaki? 
Right. <laughs> to the sweet shop it is. Like right now, Noah. Go, go, go! I'm a teleportation professional. Excuse me? What do you need, child? Oh, uh, nothing. I was just a little worried. I don't think this is a very safe place to sleep. I was not asleep. I was training within the recesses of my mind through an ancient form of concentration. So it's some kind of exercise? Yes. We Guardians train in all the arts of war to better fulfill our duties. And one's training does not lie. Learn something once, and roots take hold. Learn twice, and blossoms bloom. But thrice, and the boughs of the mind shall break. Though at times, wisdom can be found among the branches. Forgive an old warrior's ramblings. I do not know how you came to be here, child, but this is no place for you. Be gone. But could I undergo this training too? If that was a jape, you'll find I rarely laugh. I will show you neither pity nor indulgence. Knowing that, do you still wish to train? Yes, absolutely. So be it. I will hold nothing back. These ruined golems were destined to crumble after their long years of service. I, however, have reached into the ruined lenses at their core and given them a new destiny. The essence of a warrior is measured in an instant. With a single strike, grant these thralls eternal rest. Okay. I'll do it. Begin. My turn, yes?
excellent. Your stance was fluid, your offense relentless. You have emerged from this experience greater than you began. Oh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I had all but decided my fighting days were done. You have changed my mind. I am Galador, and I will lend my strength to your cause. Really? Okay, great. All right, one perfect teleportation coming up. Hmm. Perfect, as usual. Sugar toast. This is dire. If the creature has grown as big as they say, no, 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 that's impossible. It was such a tiny little thing. Then again, after a hundred years, all bets are off. <gasps> but that would mean it's. <laughs> Oh, please. What am I saying? It's not my fault. I am far too fetchingly adorable to make a mistake. Bungling is not in my vocabulary. And yet, the problem remains. I suppose I could take care of it alone. But why face a menace to Tsul? When the world is full of willing meat shields. <sighs> nice. <gasps> you there, young man. Don't you cut a rugged figure. Not too rugged, mind you. People drowning in their own muscles are so distracting. But those vanilla good looks of yours should help guide the eye toward the adorable main act. Yours truly. Oh yes, you'll do just fine. What say we join forces and help a few people out? Um, help them how? <gasps> you haven't heard? There's a dreadful monster that's taken up in a cave east of town, down by the shore. What kind of dreadful monster? Oh, uh, it's... Uh, <clears throat> well, from what I hear, once upon a time, some incredibly talented sorcerer was conducting an experimental ritual. 
But confound it. He left behind the raw lens he was using, and... Uh... Actually, what I mean is the experiment went awry entirely on its own and birthed a creature of pure nightmares. Okay. And we can't have that, now can we? People are too afraid to even take their boats out. Don't you want to help? Doing a good deed is simply the best feeling. Not to mention all the pats on the back you'll get. From the air about you, I thought you'd jump at the... Yes, I'm in. I love helping people. Let's do it. That's the spirit, Schnookums. If only all your peers were so eager. Shall we depart forthwith? Heck yeah! What are we waiting for? Let's go right now. Um, yes. Do you think maybe you're being a little too eager? Do people ever tell you that? Although, I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Now. Follow me, yes. I'll have us at the cavern faster than you can say. Who is this pinnacle of cuteness I'm traveling with? Which is to say, off we go. I'm gonna help those people so dang hard. Here we are. Deep in this cavern, we'll find the greedy guts that consumed all the raw lens. So, let's go slay ourselves a monster. Looks like we'll reach the back of the cavern soon. Oh yes, this is definitely the place. Uh, the, the seal is intact, that's good. I'll just uh, quietly pat myself on the back for that one. Sorry, what do you mean? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> right, on we go. Hmm, so it seems. Took place. I thought for certain we'd have stumbled upon that greedy gobbler by now. Perhaps they fed me some tall tail. In which case, I'm absolved. Not that a perfect cutie like myself would err in the first place. 
Um, Momo, would you mind telling me what's really going on here? The secret to perfect cuteness? Oh, that's quite impossible. I mean, where to begin? No, I don't mean that. I... Um, what's happening? You're mine! Oh, baby!
Come on! This may stay. Malfunction detected. I don't like this. Detected.
do nicely. No hard feelings, I hope. Victory is sweet. Hey, I think I'm getting better at this. and cutest of them all now. Oh, that's right. It's still me. <sighs> what was that all about? And how in the world did you get a cannon in here? Well, Schnookums, now that I've recovered the raw lens I activated and undone my little boo-boo, I suppose I can tell you. My name is Moriarty Gardestein, and I'm the greatest sorcerer of my age. Centuries of intense magical study have shaped me into the vision of delight that stands before you. This cavern is one of many research stations I once created, although I had to abandon it due to a little mishap. Okay. <laughs> Poor dear. Your mind must be swimming. It's not often one stands before such a great and powerful sorcerer. So let me get this straight. You're a cute little girl on the outside, but a centuries-old super mage on the inside? <gasps> Wrong! Oh, so you were exaggerating about the centuries part? Wrong again! And I'm no cute little girl, thank you! But I thought you liked being called cute. You kept saying as much. No, I mean, I'm a boy, silly Billy. Oh. Oh. Um, sorry about before. I didn't mean to jump to any conclusions. Nor should you. When the world is full of so many wonder schnookums. Now, shall I let you in on a very special secret? Okay. Now, listen carefully, because I have to whisper. It took me centuries of intense research to learn this secret. Which means it's for your ears alone. Are you ready? Um... Here it is. Cuteness triumphs over all! <laughs> the silence of ultimate comprehension. Yeah, sure. All I know is that magic as great as yours goes way over my head. Give it time, Schnookums. One day you'll understand. Now, I believe I'll make myself comfortable at your humble abode. Excuse me? <gasps> you think I didn't know about that rough, tough alliance you lead, Cupcake? What you need is my magic and impeccable cuteness to guide your army to victory. <laughs> I'll have your every enemy just dying in capitulation. Um, thanks, I guess.